tell me I'm stop it. Stop it. What? How dare you? Tell me how dare you? Oh, what are you talking about? See, whatever that is between me and you is over. And the next time you will stop Jerry on the road to talk rubbish, I will spill my venom on you. Now the last time on you. I don't want to see you anywhere close to my house. I won't want you again. So Tasha, all of this is because of Jerry. Leave my house right now, Tony. Tasha! Leave! Leave! Nonsense. Go out of my house! Don't come close to my house again. You help me! Tasha, you're asking me to leave your house? You're giving up all that we shared because of Jerry. Tell me get out! I said, out! Get out! Okay, fine. It's yours. I've given you that call. That's why you're messing up. Come on, get out! Hey, sugar. Hi. So, what are you good at? Pulling the trigger. Sure, you have a uh, Big and strong. <sighs> so, hit this time. Of course, to hit it right there on that target. Hmm. Without no miss. Come here. Shoot me. Ah! What? Don't forget to bring your money. Eh? 
I did so For the fact that I am owing you does not give you the right to insult me. God punish you! What do you do? If I did so insult you, what do you go do? Eh? What do you do? What do you say? They would play against small sense. Then they hustle, they help themselves. What did happen to you? Eh? Now only to buy to a rob your confused face. They confuse no more girls there for rule. Now you savvy. Eh? You don't believe it, Jerry. You just say you be evil. I just swear you are really pushing me. Hmm. And I know why I am living here. Be that. Now poor man you be. If I talk, keep quiet. Be the hero. You borrow from my hand. I get right to talk to you anyhow. Jobless man. No, no. I talk to my mommy. He will go to you be. You don't get work. To buy two and pancake, now you sabi do. The only way you do good at is they speak English for me. And you did me, you were pushing me, and then why did they leave me? No, touch me, show yourself, but I tell you who I be. You know who I be? Huh. Eh? See, but I tell you, now only today I give you. If you don't give me my money, if I release my hand where you did, eh? You go do yourself. You they speak English for me. Go, punish your generation. Goats. Back your head for the man who said they die. Chop less man. Today that I give you, you go see yourself. Oh. Ah. Uh, huh? How are you? Are they fine now? Are they fine? Eh? Merit. I don't know why people know they appreciate better thing we do for them. Merit. Echo. Help me beg your boyfriend to give me the money when I borrow. Eh? Now only to that give a money. If he not pay me today, to hold on. How much is the money? You won't pay for it. Eh? three hundred there. Only three hundred. That's okay. I hope it's complete. It's complete. <laughs> Merit. She be you know say be fine girl. Eh? Yeah? You not fine girl. I see be so eh. Now only better, 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 better thing supposed to be come your side. Eh? Yeah? I see be. Poor man no supposed to look your side. Make a talk and again. Poor man no supposed to look where you did. Eh? Eh? Wait, wait, wait. You see, you see what I talk about? Think about that. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fine game. Ha! Oh, Daja. Fine game. There was no food in the house that day. And I had no money on me, so I, I, I just had to, I had to get... It's okay. I understand. Alright? No, it's not okay. It's not okay until I get a job. Until I'm financially stable, that is when it's going to be okay. Listen, listen to me. I have submitted your CV in so many companies. Let's just be patient and hopeful that something positive will come out of this. Okay? Okay. Um, you said the manager of McMatter Group of Companies sent for you. How did you go? He's willing to give you the job. Really? But under two conditions. It's either we give him 300,000 naira or a date with him. Why is this world so wicked? Does it mean that nobody can actually give one a listen, job in this? <sighs> Calm down, okay? Let's just be patient. I'm certain that God will give you a good job. I mean, one that is befitting of you. Just, just, just be prayerful and be patient, please. Baby, you need to help me in every way you can. This situation is beginning to frustrate me already. It's, it's okay, darling. I will try my best. And by His grace, I'm certain you will get a good job. Okay? So why don't you smile for me? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I brought you food. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm actually going for the evening for the show.
Ah, not today. I mean, today is not a good day. It's okay, I'm just going to I have just 3,000 left, so share. You have this. Please. It's, it's not too much. No, it's okay, it's fine. I'll see you. Okay. I stop crying. I'll see you. I love you. Stop crying, okay? <laughs> I love you. this what have I done to deserve this pitiful condition of life look at me Jerry a fresh guy a graduate being insulted by a low-life crowd due to unemployment what insolence that Jerry you done so far Please and Jerry, I understand how you feel. But please, try and put everything behind you. Jim. Dave, you don't understand how I feel. If I am where I am supposed to be, if I don't package well like my fellow men, if I am living in a mansion, driving good cars, Changing clothes. Dave, if I am looking sweet and fresh, tell me, will that low life have the effrontery to insult me just because of 300 naira? As I said initially, I understand how you feel. But the point here is, regretting from here to tomorrow will not do you any good. It will not. I mean, we all living in this compound know how good and arrogant Adesua what could be simply because she's dating the landlord's son. In her mind, she fears she's a would-be landlady. So please, just try and get a grip on yourself. I am sure, bro, I'm sure that one day, just one day, this whole drama will be a story. God is not asleep. God is not asleep. I have heard God is not asleep a million times. But I have not seen a sign that God cares about me. God, if truly you are awake and you care about me, please come to my rescue hurriedly. Because this whole mess has got into my neck. I beg you. Sister Marys, I am truly praying for Brother Jerry and I believe that God will intervene in the situation someday. Amen, Pastor. But I have not seen Brother Jerry for weeks now. Um, Pastor, I don't know. But I'm very sure he's fine. It's okay. Just always encouraging me, faith. God will see him too. I will, Pastor. Thank you so much for God bless you. Thank welcome. you very much. You're I'll see you on Sunday. You're welcome. I'll see okay. you next week. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Maybe you know see you're a fine boy. Yeah. I don't know what you did to me. I could just see I could see how they vex every time. But I promise you one thing. I'm not going to make it. 
Eh? I'm not gonna look for your trouble again. You hear? Apology accepted. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Jerry, you know, fine boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jerry! Oh my you for stop. <laughs> eh? Thank you. Fine boy. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> hmm. Desirable is not available. Don't you think it available should be managed? Speedy beans. Bro, I think you should join me in this matrix collection job. Though we don't aim much there, but I think it's better than being entirely broke. Me? A second class upper graduate of chemical engineering. Join in your chief collector business. Roaming around the streets and offices just to collect money from people. Bro, I can't stop solo to do that kind of business now. Let I remind you that I am also a graduate. But the difference between you and I is that I have refused to be handicapped or frustrated due to the poor availability of jobs for graduates in this country, you know? Listen, sitting here all day, waiting for reply from companies you applied to, I don't think it's the best thing for you. So I think you should get up from there, go out there, look for something to do. Heaven they say help those who help themselves. I mean, I appreciate your efforts and your goodwill. But chief collector business, hell no. Thank you. All right, fine. You can sit here and wait for wide color job. Hmm? I fix myself something. Chief, chief collector business. Well, how many days do you think it's going to take my completion to change? Chief collector. She was in the streets. Crazy about you. 
Oh, so what are you doing? You blind? Eh? You blind? I think your joblessness and your senselessness they affect your sight. Eh? What do you be like how they do? Eh? Your clothes are dry, then I'm sure you know my clothes are very wet. And you're doing this to look for my trouble. Do you not get sense? Hmm? When you both talk and say, common sense, they common. But you not get her. Eh? All that bobo they already live for this company, they didn't use hunger, spread their clothes. But you, common hunger, you not feel bad. House, you they live for free. Food, you will chop for free. Woman, you will find free one where you go dig, enter. Huh? Your name eh? supposed to be free of charge. Goats, now you be. I just swear, what do you want from me? Oh, I'm not interested in that. This is not what I want from a jobless man like you. <laughs> in case you are doing this to get my attention, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't do trashing. Ah! Emi! I just swear, I'm not going to trash it. Me! Hey! Johnny! You clean past me! Johnny, you clean past me! I be asking! Eh? What do you want to see? How I take to our ship? You want to see me? You want to see you blind? Eh? I beg I don't get your time. And better for the talk, you the talk. You talk less my bolo bolo. Nonsense. You don't know how it feels like for a guy like me to be jobless and being insulted by that crap. Seriously, I understand how you feel. But, I mean, you don't have to be like this. Just take it easy on yourself, please. Okay, sit down. Please, just sit down. Listen. This is what we're going to do. I'll give you 5000 from my salary at the end of every month. So at least you could use that for your upkeep, I mean your pocket money, until you get a good job. What did you say? You... You give me 5000 there for me? Yes, and I mean it. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I just, I just love you. And I love you more. So, can I get my keys now? Why not? <laughs> that wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't feel that. Really? Seriously, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The door is open. You said you're not feeling fine. Yes. Just come on. Come on. Have you have you taken pills? No, I have not. Why? I was waiting for you. I know you will be here. Okay, um, now that I'm here, let me go get it for you. Do you have any at home? Uh-uh. I'm fine. Okay, I don't need kids right now. Please, can, can you just...
just wait. What you need now is medical attention. Mm -mm. I don't need medical attention. All I need is you. husband is here. I told you. Your friend, I told you that men are. Crying for nothing. But I told you. I told you that men are not to be trusted. But you said no. But your husband is an angel. <laughs> what happened now? I won. For all your account information, let me send the money. Oh. <laughs> and what makes you think I need the money? I don't need it. I just want to prove to you that I know men more than you do. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Take heart, okay? Girlfriend. Yeah, You're such a despicable cheap liar. You want to blame your irresponsibility on my friend? You disgust me! I'm done with this marriage. You know you can't. For God's sake, I'm sorry. Think about our children. Think about what we share. Are you going to let those sweet memories go like that? I'm very, very sorry. Please. All I can think about now is all the numerous extramarital blowjob you've gotten out there. You despicable excuse of a man. I am filing for a divorce. Period. Mo 
Moses meeting me this one day again. What did you do to you? What's that for? Why do you speak that kind of English for? What is that for? Eh? Look, make I tell you. You're not supposed to enter my room and not call me for phone. Eh? What if my twin day go enter town and go see one call baby? Go come call you and see you. What is that? Why is me? You know, you know, you don't believe me again. Me where they smart. Me, I'm a smart boy now. What did they do? You should be smart guy. Yeah, Hannah. I don't want to take a service that they talk now. Eh? I don't really like this guy. Eh? Adesuwa, Adesuwa. No, no, avoid me, oh, avoid me. No, they do this kind of thing. No, they do, baby. No, they do. I don't want that. I don't want no. I don't want any baby. Which one will be the best? Now, let's stop. I don't want any baby. I don't want any baby. A lady just posted online that she needs a sexy, handsome young man for a maximum sexual satisfaction. And over 500 guys liked, commented, sent their pictures and contacts, declaring interest. What a corrupt word. Let me see, let me see. Let's take a look. I mean, it's a free word. What? You've got to do what you have to do to put food on your table. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, you don't have to justify the dispirit actions of some unguided youths of nowadays. How can a man resort into such sexual practices just for money? That's the height of irresponsibility. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm interested, bro. What? You need a sugar mama? Does it matter? As long as I live a good life, hit good money. Who cares? You are sounding very, very desperate. Think. Let me tell you something. Desperation is an understatement. I'm eager to make money, big time. Boy, I don't suffer now. I want to live a good life. I want to drive good cars, change clothes, waiting. Calm down. You don't understand. He said I should bring you 100,000 naira before you can introduce me to the woman. What? 100 what? Thousand naira. Oh. I don't know you well there. Alright, fine, fine. So, what's your plan now? Plan? You want me to do? You know, four persons should not have that kind of money. And um, I'm, I'm just having this premonition that he's just a good guy trying to scam me. Jerry, why are you being so melodramatic? Why are you always acting as if the whole world is falling on you? Bro, you are not the only unemployed graduate, so please stop drawing these spirit measures for money. Chill, my man. Money will come when to go. Do you even understand this is my life? And I owe no one any explanation as to how I live my life. So, Mr. Advisor, stick to your business. Really? Do you actually want me to stick to my business? So why are you telling me how you go about it? I'm just telling you for the purpose of telling you. And since you're telling me for the purpose of telling me, I am advising you for the purpose of advising you as a good friend. I don't need your advice. 
Don't stop telling me things. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, my love. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so 27 years ago on a day like this, in the month of August, to so the family of late Pod James, George, an angel was born. Mm. Happy womb escape, my love. Oh, my world, my heart, I love you very much. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, without wasting time, okay. you should cut your cake. Okay. So, we're going to spell Jerry, okay. and at the end of it, we're going to cut the cake. So, J E R R Y. My name is Jerry. Oh, oh, you know, you know, you, you, I have a friend that is called James, and both of you look so much alike. So I was thinking he was going well, jogging. Okay. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm fine. You're enjoying your jogging. Yeah, just <laughs> doing the morning workout. Okay. Let me give you my card. You can give me a call in. Huh? Sure. Okay. All right. That's my card. Yes. Please. Okay. The number behind is my number. Look, you give me a I'm Natasha Williams, owner of a multi-million manufacturing company. A single mother. I was an adulterous wife. And I killed my husband. Really? Yes. And you? You have a girlfriend who loves you so much. The same reason you were unfaithful in your marriage. The same reason you killed your husband.
You believe I did that? I believe you are smarter than that. <coughs> you see, my story is a very short one. Complicated. Though I've been heartbroken severally, mm. but I bear no venom. All I seek is pleasure. I'm so unfortunate with what they call true love. <laughs> you see, your heart may bear no venom, but bears grudges from the past wrongs. Forgive and forget, they say, for forgiveness frees the offender, but forgetting frees the offended. The love you seek may be staring right in your eyes, but you have to let go for you to see. You have to set the past ablaze. <laughs> 